guys and welcome back to my channel and in today's video I'm gonna do these little mini DIY Skyrim potions and poison bottles so yeah let's get started starting off you're gonna need some mini potion bottles to do this DIY I got mine at Hobby Lobby and I know these don't look exactly like the same shapes of the bottles used in the game but they'll do for now but for this DIY I decided to do four potions and three poisons I'm gonna start off with the poisons and I'm gonna use these bottles that have more of a square shape. I'm now going to take my tiny paintbrush that I also bought at Hobby Lobby, some tan acrylic paint, and I'm just going to paint on the label right there on the bottle. And I'm gonna do the exact same thing on another bottle and let that tan acrylic paint completely dry before moving on to the next step. In which I'm just gonna take some black acrylic paint and right there in the center of the label, I'm just gonna paint all my little wobbly circle thing that is used to indicate the poison. While the black acrylic paint is currently drying, I'm just going to go in with kind of a gun smoke color gray acrylic paint and just outline the entire label. Now I'm going to go in with some white acrylic paint and go inside the outline of the black. I said two of these bottles are going to have this exact design and for the last poison bottle, I'm going to have the same poison logo on it, however I'm just going to design it differently. Going in with that same gray acrylic paint, I am just going to draw a couple of lines just to outline the entire bottle like you see here. And on one side of the bottle, I am just going to draw two parallel gray lines. Going in with some tan acrylic paint, I am just going to fill this middle portion of the bottle. And while that's drying, I'm just going to go in with the same tan acrylic paint and just paint on the neck of the bottle. And to finish it up, I'm just going to paint on the poison label. And I'm pretty much done with the decorating of these bottles. I know these poisons don't look exactly like they do in the game. Oh well, I tried. But we're done with these and now moving on to the health potions and tonics. I'm going to be using the bottles that have this shape. I know they don't look exactly like they do in the game, but this is the closest I can get to it. This one, I want it to be like the minor stamina potion. I'm going to go in with some black acrylic paint and add a bunch of lines to indicate like the twine or the rope around it. And I decided to get a little bit creative, so I'm just going to go in with this yellow thread and just kind of go over the black. And here's the completed bottle. The next potion, I wanted this to be like the ultimate health potion. I'm going to do my best to explain the decoration, but I'm just going to take a darker brown polish and paint around the neck of the bottle. And added a bunch of random lines with some tan acrylic paint. For the third potion bottle, it's a little bit simpler and this is going to be for the Magicka. I am just going to take some black acrylic paint and just paint on the neck and just two lines. If you noticed, I did use acrylic paint throughout all these bottles. And to prevent the paint from chipping off the glass, I am just going to go in with this quick dry top coat that I got at Sally's Beauty Supply and just go over every single part of the bottle that has the acrylic paint on there. This is just to help secure it. It also helps with any bumpiness the acrylic paint might have caused. Anyways, part one is done. We are done with decorating the bottles and now the fun part, actually, you know, mixing our tonics. To put our alchemy skills to use and bring our potions to life, you're going to need some Elmer's clear glue. And to color the clear glue, you're going to need some acrylic paint as well as some food coloring. Now to mix our ingredients and make our potions. And we're going to start on the health potion. I'm just going to insert the Elmer's glue and fill up the bottle about three-fourths. I kind of just eyeball it a little bit. Afterwards, I just added two drops of red food coloring and mixed. And don't worry about all these little bubbles you see, eventually they'll all rise to the top and pop. But that's pretty much it, it's fairly easy. And now I'm going to repeat the same steps for the rest of the bottles. Like I said I did four potions, I lost footage for the last one, but I just did yellow for the elixir of strength. I'm now going to move on to the poisons, and unfortunately I couldn't find any food coloring with this color, so I just used black acrylic paint. It works just as well. The only downside of using acrylic paint is that it won't be see-through like if you use food coloring. Anyways guys, so we are done with our poisons and potions. Next you're just going to need a strong adhesive. I'm going to be using this Gorilla Super Glue. And I am just going to lightly coat the bottom of the cork. 
This is so whenever we insert it back on top of the bottle that our mixtures don't spill everywhere. Yes guys, so we are done. Here is the finished DIY Skyrim poisons and potion bottles. I know that I am not a professional DIY YouTuber, but that's the glory of DIYs. They're just meant for fun. I really love how these bottles turned out, and I know they're going to look nice on my gamer shelf. Anyways guys, I really hope you enjoyed today's video, and yeah, as always, thanks for watching!